Hello to the 1983 basketball team, your families, and all my Wittenberg friends. Guys, I sure wish I could be in Springfield today visiting with you and listening to some of the many stories that I'm sure being told. Congratulations on this special recognition. It is certainly well deserved. Thanks guys for a great ride in 1983. Your magical season added a chapter to the great Wittenberg basketball tradition and secured you a legacy in its history. Most people remember you because you had a great regular season, won the Ohio Conference Tournament, the NCAA Regional, the quarterfinal game, the semis, and got to the national championship game. There were some really good teams in the league that year. Ohio Northern, Muskingum, Otterbein, and Capital. We had some great games with Capital that season, didn't we? We had to get through some real heavyweights in the NCAA tournament that year as well. Of course, starting with Capital, you will recall that we had to beat them on back-to-back -back weekends at the end of the year. Thank you, Rodney, for that great block that saved the day in that first NCAA tournament game. Then we moved on to Hope, Cal State Stanislaus, Wisconsin Whitewater, and of course Scranton. I still say to this day we would have won it all if Chris had not fouled out in that final game. Losing the national championship in overtime was tough. But some of the things I remember most about this team were its exceptional talent, the tremendous versatility, the terrific athleticism, the great competitive toughness, and the quality depth that we had to put in the games. You'll recall that practices were sometimes tougher than some of the games. We often had some tussles and some blood on occasion, not that I ever minded. Statistically, this team was a coach's dream. We shot over 51% from the field as a team. We had a plus 10 rebound advantage over our opponents. We took care of the ball well. We had 200 more assists than our opponents, and our opponents only averaged 56.6 points per ball game. Rick Simon was our assistant coach. Jack Welch was our trainer. And we had six terrific seniors. Brian Tim was our manager, and Doug Mesher, a student coach. Mark, Rodney, Jeff, and Chris provided great senior leadership for this team. Mark was a man as a point guard. He had a terrific season and played his best basketball at the end of the year. He impacted the game in so many ways at both ends of the floor. And then there was Jay and Timmy at the wings. <laughs> wow, what special players. As a coach, you'd better figure out a way to try and guard them. Good luck. <laughs> Chris and Rodney in the post. Undersized, but extremely athletic and so very versatile. They both played much bigger than they were. Because of our strength and toughness, we could almost switch at all five positions. Then I could always go to Barry, Bert, Eric, and Tony in the post, Jeff, John, and Mike on the perimeter. Some pretty good players in their own right. So many memories. Mark, Jay, and Case seem to always be making big plays. And how could we forget one of those crazy dumps by Rodney? Or Huffer getting 21 rebounds against Stanislaus? Or Jay going off against Whitewater? And Case against Scranton? Two, the two biggest problems that I remember I had with this team were trying to keep Mark, Case, and Chris from fouling out. And secondly, trying to get Chris to talk on defense, or for that fact, to talk period. And also, when I think of the sophomores on this team, Casey, McKinney, and Elfers, three unbelievable competitors. I think of their great senior season of 85 when I thought we had a good chance to win it all again until Case hurt his neck in the conference tournament. I also remember a year or so earlier in Chris's career having to drive most of the night to get him to a hand surgeon specialist in Lexington, Kentucky because he had s severely cut some tendons while putting his hand through a door window pane at the fraternity house. I also thought of our summer European trip. Tons of memories came flooding back to me thinking about working with and watching each of you grow and develop as men and as basketball players. Losing the national championship in overtime is one of my toughest losses. But being in that game and being able to coach you guys with all of your skill, all of your work ethic, and your great passion for the game, and your great character made it one of my most fun and memorable years as a coach. Thank you guys. I love you. And you will always be in my heart.
Enjoy the day and the weekend. I wish I could be there with you.